Hi, my name is Paris Wolf, and today we're going to be learning cryptography. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment any questions below. The Bifid Cipher. It's a grid that matches letters into numeric values. It's a 5x5 five five matrix. So you just need to remember that it matches letters into numeric values, and it's a 5x5 five five matrix. If you're interested in learning how that works, then you have the two rows here, or the horizontal columns, and the 4 matches the M. And then this lines up with the 5, bringing you down to the M. So they just intersect there at that point. And then that's how you're going to get the ciphertext. For the Playfair, it's a 5x5 five five grid created with a secret phrase. And letters cannot repeat in the grid. And to repeat for the Playfair, this is the important part. It's a 5x5 five five grid created with a secret phrase. And letters cannot repeat in the grid. So the difference between the Playfair and the Bifid is that the bifid is matches letters into numeric values, while the Playfair is using a secret phrase. Now, since it's a 25 by 25 matrix, J is not included in that matrix, and it's interchangeable with the I. For homophonic substitution cipher, you know you need to know that it replaces the plain text with many possible cipher texts. And to show you what that means is that here we have the letter H, which is matching up with the cipher text of 19. However, when we're looking at H, if it was, it could be any one of these numbers below this H, and all of these would represent the letter H. Now, vowels, because those come up more commonly in the English and the English language, they're going to typically have a lot more uh, ciphertext or possibilities that way to make it more difficult for frequency analysis to be able to break that. 